Ooh, nice Game Boy. Lovely. Uh, we got a PlayStation boxed one for 546 yen. What? That's about four dollars as well. Um, we got a Wii complete, and these are all working as well. So for 500 yen, that's about three dollars for a Wii. That's crazy. Here, Nintendo 64 for only about forty dollars USD complete with a black controller right here, as you can see. Comb for 455 yen, so that's about three dollars USD for this whole console. That's crazy. Welcome back, guys, to day two of traveling across Japan and finding best shops to buy Pokemon cards, video games, just all vintage stuff in general. And um, yeah, we're in an area called Sumiyoshi, we're going to a book off, and I'm going to show you guys a virtual tour of what stuff I can find. And yeah, I just want to make these videos for people who are at home um, that don't have access to going to Japan or who are interested in seeing what type of stuff that they have in Japan. So, so definitely let me know in the comments what type of things you guys want to see in the shops because I do want to share as much as I can uh, with place, places that I go to personally, shops that I like to go to. So um, definitely let me know in the comments and let's get into day two of hunting for video games and cards. All right, so after a 30 minute walk, I finally arrived to this book off and let's get right into it. So this is a few of the Game Boy Advance games that they have at the book off. And you can quickly tell that the Game Boy games for Japanese Pokemon games are very expensive, so they're ranging from about $40 USD. These are 3,500 yen, which is about, I'd say, 25 US dollars, which is very expensive compared to uh, games that you can find at other shops. If you guys see any games that you like, definitely let me know in the comments so I can look for those games on my hunts so I can help you guys as well on seeing prices of how much games cost in Japan. So even though I was really excited to see all these Pokemon games, I quickly lost my interest because I saw the prices on all these games. Man, there were a time where in these games I would pick up for like 300 yen, which is about, I'd say, a dollar fifty or dollar eighty USD. Now they're going for like 3,500 to 2,500 yen. It's pretty crazy prices. Mario, Strikers, 900 yen. Yeah, that's cool Dragon Ball Z art one. Famicom game. Tetris Flash, 1,800 yen. So we got all these Famicom games as well. And then we got Nintendo 64 games. Wave Rider, 270 yen, it's about like $2 USD. Pokemon Stadium for 270 yen, so which is about $2 USD. 270 yen, which is $2 USD for Pikachu. Hello Pikachu. More Hello Pikachu. Zelda, a very yellowed Zelda for 480 yen. Banjo Kazooie for 480 yen. So, roughly about $3 each for these games. We have Pokemon Stadium for 270 yen, which is about $2 USD. 
another one. So there's a lot of Pokemon stadiums. There's Mario 64, Kirby, $2. Yeah, it's, if you have a um, Japanese Nintendo 64, it's definitely worth checking out and picking up because they're so cheap. Um, and all these Famicom games. And then let's go look through some of these Game Boy games, Game Boy Color games, Pokemon, trading card game. Kirby with Hamtaro on it. Um, a lot of these will be, yeah, not great. So this is a game that I used to play all the time. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Masters, 100 yen. So it's about 80 cents USD. But to be able to buy these games for that cheap is pretty good. Obviously, all the Pokemon games are in the uh, the shelving right here. Man, I remember when these these games used to be like 200 yen, which is about like a dollar per. See what else we got. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! 3. One of the most exciting parts about hunting for video games is when you see uh, certain games that you really like that pop up. I remember uh, there was a shop that was like this where they had really expensive Pokemon games, but for some reason they had Crystal version for only 500 yen in one of these bins. So I make sure that even though um, I might not find the best game, sometimes there uh, are times when you get lucky and you find very desirable games that you like or want to add to a collection that might be in these slots. So yeah, I would recommend just checking them out just in case. Comb for 455 yen, so that's about three dollars USD for this whole console. That's crazy. Three dollars for a Famicom vintage game. We got some that's about nine dollars USD, and this one's even cheaper. This one's 455 yen, which is about three dollars USD for this PlayStation One. That's crazy. Um, we got some other vintage stuff here. Nintendo 64 for only about $40 USD complete with a black controller right here, as you can see. That's pretty cool. Um, same price here and 20% off. So it'll be 20% off of this price as well for the ones that have that. Um, we got a Wii complete. And these are all working as well. So for 500 yen, that's about $3 for a Wii. That's crazy. This one's a bit yellowed, but this one's pretty good condition. Uh, we got Wii U, a bunch of cables here, controllers, um, wow, a game, GameCube player for, oh, that's a bit steep, $120 USD roughly. Uh, we got a PlayStation boxed one for 546 yen, what? That's about $4 as well, USD um, complete in box. Wow, I might actually have to buy this one. This one's really rare to see. So we got some cool DS's. Um, got a few here, 2,000 yen. So it's about $20 USD. $20 USD for that. It's a, another DS. Oh, this is a boxed DS. 2,700 yen. That's not too bad either. We got another, oh, this one's a bit broken. Yeah, that's very broken. Um, Maybe just for the box is what they're pricing that one as. Um, we got more Nintendo DS's. Obviously you can test these out with the controller. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of DS's in here. About the 1,800 range, which is about uh, $14 USD roughly. I'm kind of guessing. Um, ooh, nice, Game Boy. 3,600, okay, so that's on the higher end. That's about $30 USD. But if you're desperate to have a copy of one, definitely worth getting here, I guess. Um, let's see what else they got in the shop. Yeah, another PS PlayStation with the manual for 455 yen, $4 USD. Wow, that's crazy. So these are some of the better stuff. We got the 
270 so that's about $200 USD for that Pikachu Special Edition. Um, we got a GameCube player as well. $200 for those ones. That's a cool pink DS as well. These are the PlayStation 2s. These are all 33 cents and I really like when I see, see VMAX cards and stuff. So I'm going to check that one out and a few V cards in here as well. So these are all 33 yen each. That's a pretty good deal for VMAX and V cards. So I like to kind of go through them when I have a bunch of time. Um, and I believe if you buy 10, it's 30 cents each. So it's 300 yen. So about $2 for 10 cards. Um, so if you can get your hands on a bunch of V's and VMAXs, it's definitely worth buying, um, in my opinion, just because I like to have cards to my collection and stuff. Um, but yeah, let's just look through and see if there's any other... Oh, like there's another V here. Um, if I can get 10, that makes it worth the money. Um, obviously, you can buy these ones. These are a bit more, 100 yen, so about 80 cents each. Pikachu of EX, like there's another oh, Pikachu V. Yeah, so a bunch of these. So I get 10 of these for three dollars that's a pretty good deal all right so i just hit the jackpot i just found all these really cool i found this absol that was a really cool card uh ex must be i've never i don't know what set this is from but it's got a bit of a dent so i probably won't pick it up but i just thought it was really cool artwork and really cool card um but all these are 33 yen to so about 28 cents each so i'm just gonna pick my favorite 10 and then try to get it for a better deal and yeah it's really cool to add to my collection